Hey everyone, today we're going deep, deeper than just another AI announcement, because OpenAI just made two huge moves that are going to completely reshape the future of artificial intelligence, and maybe even how we think about intelligence itself. First, GPT-5 is officially on the way. And second, and this is what caught everyone off guard, OpenAI is changing its strategy in a way that signals a whole new era of AI development. So buckle up, because by the end of this video, you're going to understand exactly what's happening, why it matters, and how it could change your world. Whether you're a creator, a coder, a business owner, or just someone who's trying to keep up with this insane AI race. Let's start with the headline. GPT-5 is coming in just a few months. OpenAI has been working on this behind the scenes for over a year. And if the rumors and early insider insights are true, we're not just looking at a smarter chatbot. We're talking about the most powerful, most advanced, and most capable language model ever created. So what's new in GPT-5? Well, for starters, it's expected to be multimodal, meaning it can process and generate not just text, but also images, audio, and possibly even video, all within the same system. This is a huge leap from GPT-4, which had some multimodal capability in its GPT-4V variant, but GPT-5 is expected to be natively multimodal from the ground up. But that's just the surface. OpenAI is reportedly focusing on three core areas with GPT-5. Better reasoning, so it can follow complex logic more accurately. Higher reliability, Fewer hallucinations, more truthful answers. And deeper personalization, adapting to you, your tone, your needs. In short, it's not just more intelligent, it's more human. But here's where things get really interesting. OpenAI isn't just releasing GPT-5. They're also splitting off parts of what was supposed to be inside GPT-5 into separate models. That's right. Instead of building one single ultra-intelligent AI brain, they're creating multiple specialized brains, each with its own job. They've already introduced two of these new models, one called O4, a reasoning model that's designed to handle logic, planning, and structured thought better than anything we've seen so far, and another called O4 Mini, a smaller, faster version for lightweight reasoning and real-time applications. So, why this split? Why not just cram it all into GPT-5 like before? The answer is strategy scalability, and honestly, engineering reality. OpenAI realized that building one giant model to do everything well was reaching its limits. It's like trying to train one athlete to be the best sprinter, marathon runner, swimmer, and chess grandmaster, all at once. At some point, you need specialists. And that's exactly what this new approach represents, modular intelligence. Imagine this. You open an app that helps you write scripts. Instead of relying on a single AI, that app could be powered by three different models. One for understanding your idea, one for structuring the content, and one for optimizing tone and style for YouTube. Each model is perfect at its role, and they work together seamlessly. That's the vision OpenAI is moving toward. And think beyond just content creation. In healthcare, you might have one model for medical knowledge, another for emotional support, and another for diagnostics. In business, one for data analysis, one for customer service, one for sales strategy. We're not just talking about smarter AI, we're talking about AI teams. Now here's what most people don't realize. This isn't just a tech evolution. It's a shift in how we'll build and use intelligence itself. GPT-5 might be the headline, but the real story is that OpenAI is starting to treat AI more like an ecosystem of brains, not a single brain that does it all. It's like the difference between having one superhero versus building the Avengers. And this move isn't happening in isolation. Google DeepMind is working on Gemini 1.5 and beyond. Anthropic is scaling Claude rapidly. Midjourney just launched V7 for image generation. Mistral is building open source models at lightning speed. The AI world is expanding fast and OpenAI's new modular strategy might just be its secret weapon. So what does this mean for you? It means that very soon, the tools you use, whether for work, creativity, learning, or just having fun, are going to feel smarter, faster, and more collaborative. You won't just use AI. You'll interact with multiple AIs working together behind the scenes to support you in ways we've never seen before. 
It also means that if you're a creator, developer, educator, or entrepreneur, now is the time to pay attention because GPT-5 and the models around it are going to create entirely new opportunities and also challenge the way we work, think, and innovate. And here's the big question I'll leave you with. If AI is about to become a team of intelligent agents, all working together, what role will you play in that ecosystem? Will you be the director, the builder, the co-pilot? Because the future isn't just about smarter machines. It's about smarter humans working with those machines to create something bigger than we've ever imagined. If you found this video helpful, eye-opening, or even a little mind-blowing, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'll be covering the launch of GPT-5, breaking down the latest AI tools, and helping you stay one step ahead in this wild new world we're stepping into.